Good morning, kids. How are you today? Well, a new day, a new work. So, just we need to be optimistic and do it with good energy. So, what are we going to do today? Today, we are going to work only with the student book. And it's going to be a little bit um, no hard, but you need to listen carefully. You have to listen what I'm going to say. It's like a it's like a quiz question on activity one, and then I'm going to show you later what are we going to do next. So we need to work only workbook. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, student book. Open your student book on page thirty. Okay, so ready? Good. Before um, we start working on the book, I have to explain you something. Let me move this. Okay. Uh, we are going to review again on the time. So, telling time. One more time. You already know we have been practicing this a lot. So, here we have the clock is divided into 60 minutes, right? But there are some hours that show um, you the past and some hours that show you the before, and that is the two. So we have on this side past, on this side two, middle up, it's o'clock, middle down, half past, okay? So let's go on this clock one more time. On this side, Number one, it's five past. Number two, it's ten past. Three, quarter past. Four, twenty past. It's five, twenty-five past. Six, it's half past. Now, on this side, it's the two. It's the time that tell us that uh, that tells us. Um, when it's getting close to the second hour, to the following hour. A ver, I'm going to tell you in Spanish. Para este lado, ya, ya no decimos, por ejemplo aquí, estamos hablando de la una. Entonces, si está el long hand aquí, y el short hand sería five past, five past one, ¿cierto? Todavía hablamos del uno aquí. High, high, five past one. 10 past 2, 10 past 1, quarter past 1, 20 past 1, 25, and half past 1. But the moment that we start on this side, ya hablamos de la siguiente hora, que sería? Sería entonces 22, 2. No sería 22, 1. Si es que, la, si es que el reloj estuviera el, el acá... Entonces aquí, por ejemplo, aquí, aquí está marcando 12.30. Ya, me vamos a fijar en este reloj. 12.30. ¿Cuál es el número que viene después del 12? Es 1. Entonces, ¿qué sería? Aquí ya sería 25 to 1. 20 to 1. Quarter to 1. 10 to 1. 5 to 1. Y aquí, si la, la the long hand está acá, sería 1 o'clock. Entonces, en este lado hablamos del 12. Acuérdense, no les quiero confundir. Aquí tenemos el 12 y hablamos, digamos, que el 12. Aquí el 1 ya pasaron 5 minutos del 12. Entonces, sería 5 past 12, 10 past 12, quarter past 12, 20 past 12, 25 past 12 and half past 12. Acá ya vamos con el 1. ¿Se acuerdan? 25 to 1, 20 to 1, quarter to 1, 10 to 1, 5 to 1, and 1 o'clock. ¿Sí? Entonces, en este lado es el past y en este lado es el to para la siguiente hora. Sí. Vamos a fijarnos en este ejemplo. Mira, aquí tenemos... Short hand on number 8, long hand on number 12. Sería 8 o'clock. Short hand between 6 and 7, and long hand on number 9. Entonces, en este lado sería 
quarter to six or quarter to I'm sorry, quarter to six or quarter to seven. ¿Para dónde está más cerca? Al seven. Entonces sería quarter to seven. Okay, here. Shorthand is between two and three, pero está más cerca al dos que al tres. And the long hands on, is on number six. Entonces sería half past two. Half past two. Look at, look at this. Look at this uh, clock. Then the, the shorthand is pointing to number 11 and 12. It's almost in the middle. It's between. So, ¿para qué número creen que va alcanzando? ¿A qué hora? Va para las 12. Aquí tenemos que lado es aquí. Past or two. Two. Entonces sería 20 to 12. Acá. Esto es un just to remember because you already learned to do this. The, the, the shorthand is between 5 and 6. Se aproxima más al 6 que al 5, ¿cierto? Sí, look. So, this is 2, remember? So, it's 10 to 6. And look at this one. We have passed. The number is 10. The shorthand is pointing to the hour, 10, and the number 2 is also 10 minutes past. So it's 10 past 10. It's not hard. You just need to practice, and we did a lot of practice. Okay. So now, when you finish doing this, when you finish practicing this, just reviewing this, what are we going to do? This is what you need to do. You need to take your notebook, your workbook. I'm, I'm sorry, my your student book. I'm sorry. You need to take your student book. Yeah. Okay. This is the challenging part. On the student book, you have pictures, buses, and the time. Yeah, what you need to do is to listen to the bus number and check the time. Okay, I don't know where my pencil is. And check the time. I'm going to tell you the bus number. I'm going to tell you the, the bus number and the time, and you're going to write Which time belongs to which bus? Vamos a hacer la primera porque está un poquito. No confuso, no es, no es difícil, es súper fácil. Por ejemplo, miren, les voy a decir, bus number four leaves, ¿se acuerda que era leaves? Sale parte. Bus number four leaves at 20 to 10. Bus number four leaves at 20 to 10. Vamos a buscar en aquí donde está 20 to 10. So, 20 to 10. Encontré. Aquí este reloj nos marca. Esta hora nos marca 20 to 10. Entonces, ¿qué número es este bus? Ups, qué difícil. Sorry. Aquí voy a poner el número 4. Number 4. Este es el número 4. Porque de acuerdo a la hora, voy viendo qué número de bus. Entonces dice, bus number 4 leaves, parte at 20 to 10. En este reloj me marca 20 to 10. Entonces este es el bus number 4. ¿Sí? Así que, oídos, porque voy a decirles. Y ustedes escuchan el video y van haciendo esta actividad. ¿Ok? Ya les doy el ejemplo. Se fijan en el reloj, la hora, y de acuerdo a la hora, saben qué número de bus es. ¿A qué hora sale? Les voy a decir, ¿a qué hora sale cada bus? Y les voy a decir el número del bus. Entonces, ustedes tienen que fijarse en la hora y poner el número del bus. That's what you need to do. Ok, so, I'm going to read this. Slow and 
you are going to listen and you listen and you write. So, I already said the first one. I said, bus number four leaves at 20 to 10. That's number one. Number two, bus number six leave at five after eight. Bus number six leaves at five after eight or five past eight. Okay, number three. Bus number seven leaves at twenty five to eleven. Bus number seven leaves at twenty five to eleven. Okay, four. Bus number fifteen. Remember fifteen, no fifty. Fifteen leaves. At ten past ten. I'm going to repeat again. Bus number fifteen leaves at ten past ten. Okay. Bus, that's number five. Bus number eight. Team leaves at ten to nine. Bus number eighteen leaves at ten to nine. The last one, the ultima. Bus number thirty. 30 leaves at 20 past 9. Bus number 30 leaves at 20 past 9. Okay, so I have repeated two times each time, each of the time of the clock. And the bus number. You just have to listen and write it down. Okay? It's not hard. So just remember, I told you already. Bus number four leaves at 20 to 10. Encontramos la hora. 20 to 10. 20 to 10 is here. Y este es el bus number four. Escriben el número four. Tienen que cuidarse con punta gente. 30 y 13. 50 y 15. No? Okay. So, you have to be aware of the numbers. That's, that's the first part. The second part that we are going to do is we are going to do the reading on this page. And it's not it's, it's more than reading, it's practice grammar. And here we have the, the past progressive questions and we have short answers too. Here it's going to be um, easy. What you need to do is just, you need to read. So I'm going to read this for you, even though it is too, 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 the, the words are too small. I'm, I'm going to say, I copy this on my cell phone, so I'm going to read on my cell phone. But you have to read at home. Okay? You have to read at home. It is important for you to read at home. Because after you reading, we have to work on these answers related to the reading 
And then I'm going to tell you what to do here. Okay, so the reading says, it's about Mia and Luke again. So here we have the characters here. We have Mia, Luke, and Fassi is the pet. Okay, look at Mia's face. Are they happy? Are they sad? Are they worried? They look worried, right? So I guess, where are they? Are they in the house? In the bedroom? In the restaurant? Where are they? Okay, so you know now where the story is taking place. So I'm going to read this to you. Here it says, Mia says, The story is about Fuzzy. Fuzzy is the pet. So we have to think what happened to Fuzzy. That's the story. Here says, morning. Oh no, where is Fuzzy? He was playing in my pocket five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. Look, think hard, Mia. It's nine o'clock now. It's nine o'clock now, and Mia was talking about five minutes ago. Think hard, Mia. It's nine o'clock now. What was he doing at ten to nine? Mia, what? No, this is Luke. Was he playing in your bedroom? Mia says, yes, he was. He was playing, and I was getting dressed. ¿Qué significa getting dressed? ¿Se acuerdan? Put on your jacket, put on your pants, put on your socks, put, in, put on your hat. You're getting dressed. Yeah. And I said, and she says, I was getting dressed. And Luke says, and at five to nine, was he sitting in the restaurant with you? Mia says, no, he wasn't. I was Lying in the yard over there. Un yard. ¿Se acuerdan que era un yard? Un espacio verde, un, como un jardín. It's a yard. Okay. Fuzzy was sitting in my pocket. Get a pocket. Where your pants have pockets. Your jacket has pockets. And in the pocket we put the money. Guardamos la plata in those pockets. Algunos tienen pockets here, otros acá. So you know where a pocket is. So Fuzzy was sitting in my pocket. And I was waiting for you. Look. Aha. Uh -huh. Was it hot? Was the sun shining? Mia. Yes, it was. Look. Mia. You were wearing a t-shirt. You don't have any pocket. So what was Mia wearing? A t-shirt. T-shirt with pockets? No pockets in a t-shirt. So um, Mia said, ooh, I was wearing my sweatshirt. ¿Qué significa un sweatshirt? Ustedes usan un sweatshirt, sweatshirt to go to the gym. You use a sweat. Shirt to go to PE. When, when it's too hot, when it's cold, then you take off the sweatshirt. Yeah? ¿Qué será un sweatshirt? So, sweatshirt is something that you use or something that you wear when you go jogging, cuando vas a trotar, when you go to the gym. That is a sweatshirt. So, she says, Oh, I was wearing my sweatshirt. Oh no, my sweatshirt is in the yard. She was lying, remember? And Fuzzy is sleeping in the pocket. Fuzzy! So what happened to Mia? She forgot. She left the jacket. She left the sweatshirt in the yard. Just like some of you, you go to PE class and you left your jackets 
in the field, in the soccer field, in the, on, in the tennis field, on the stairs. Sometimes you cannot find your jacket. Same thing happened to Mia. So, fussy is what? Fussy is a pet. Okay, so we have the word fussy, pockets. You know what pocket is? You put the money in your pocket. And a sweatshirt. You already know what a sweatshirt is. So what do we need to do now? You have to read this again. Read all over again. Para tener que leer de nuevo. Second time, you read again. But on the second time, this is what you need to do. You are going to circle all the was questions. Circle the was questions and then you underline the short answers. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos una. Here says. Uh, look, pregunta aquí. Was he playing in your bedroom? Aquí esto le encierro, esta cuestión le encierro. Was he, is the question with was. Was, was he playing in your bedroom? Y subrayan la short answer. Yes, he was. So, you read First time, then you read a second time. You have to read the second time to look for the was questions. Okay? So, that's what you need to do. Now, after you finish doing this, you just go to the second part here. The answers on your notebook. Oops, sorry. The answers. Okay, so we are going to work on these answers here. So you have to check if you forgot some, some, some information. You just go over the reading again to answer this question. Some are short answers. Most of them are short answers. Okay, I'm going to show you later. And then the third part, when you finish doing this, you're going to go to the third part here. What do you need to do? You need to call a friend, and you are going to, and then you ask this question. Okay? So when you finish, you, of course, you need to write this on a piece of paper, on a notebook, and you're going to write your friend's name and the answer. To this question. Okay. It's not going to be hard at all. Let's go over what you need to do. So. No. I don't want to move that. No, I want to move my picture. Sorry, my class. I have to. Uh oh. I don't know what I did. There is something. Oh, good. Um, technology. We have to work on Zoom, too. So we need to learn together. Let me move this because I need to show you something. Yeah, here. So we have a clock. You practice this. And then we go to the to-do thing. You need to work on page 30. It's a listening. And this is, you have to. Listen to the video, and you listened the time, and you write the bus number. Escuchan la hora, y se dan cuenta que bus sale a esa hora que acaban de escuchar. Okay. Se puede, pueden repetir las veces que quiera. Luego vamos a la página 31. On page 31, la primera actividad es read again. Luego. You have to circle, ¿se acuerdan lo que les expliqué? En la lectura, you circle the question that starts, que empieza con was. No las que empiezan con what, where, no. Las que empiezan con was, starts with was. And you underline only short answers. Ok? That's the first part on page 31. Okay, the second part on page 31, you have to work on the answers. There are 
six questions that you need to give an answer. So I wrote, the, I did the first one for you. So la, the first question says, was Fuzzy sleeping at five to nine? If you can remember, go here. Regresan a su libro y dice, Oh no, where is Fuzzy? He was sleeping in my pocket five minutes ago. Look, I think, think hard, Mia. It's nine o'clock. What was he doing at ten to nine? He was playing in your bedroom. So, you have to look. Mire lo que dice look. And at five to nine, and was he sitting here in the restaurant with you? And she says, no, he wasn't. I was lying on the yard over there, and Fassi was sitting in my pocket. But in la primera, para que no se confundan, la primera dice, oh no, where's Fassi? He was sleeping in my pocket five minutes ago. Y el look le dice, it's nine o'clock. Sí, no, five minutes ago eran five to nine. So la pregunta es, was Fassi was Fassi sleeping at five to nine? Yes, he was. And this time we're going to talk, we're going to use he. Yes, he was. Okay? So that's the answer. Yes, he was. Question number two. Les voy a, a, a ayudar con la number two. I'm going to help you. Was Mia sleeping at 10 to 9? Was Mia sleeping at 10 to 9? ¿Qué hacía la Mia? 10 to 9. Vamos a buscar la hora. I was wearing, it was hot. Okay. She was sitting in the restaurant. No, she wasn't. Okay, we will we'll need to look for the answers here. Here it says, think hard, Mia. Look, it's nine o'clock. What was he doing at 10 to 9? And Mia says, no, Mia says, no, Luke is, answer, is asking, was he playing in your bedroom? Mia says, yes, he was. He was playing and I was getting dressed. Entonces la pregunta dice, was Mia sleeping at 10 to 9? No, she wasn't. She was getting dressed. But you don't have to answer, she was getting dressed. She says, no, she wasn't. Okay, that's the second part. And the third part, you are going to call a friend and you are going to ask this last Four questions. Aquí hay unas cuatro preguntas en el libro. Same page, 31. La primera pregunta dice, Was it raining this morning? ¿Qué le puede decir su amigo? Si es que si estaba lloviendo, yes, it was. But this morning, it wasn't. So, no, it wasn't. Es la respuesta de su amigo. ¿Sí? La segunda question. Was your dad sleeping at 20 to 6 this morning? Was your dad sleeping at 20 to 6 this morning? Or was your mommy? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Okay. And was your mom wearing a sweatshirt this morning? Was your mom wearing a sweatshirt this morning? Yes or no? Short answers. Y la última, the last one is, are you wearing a shirt now? Are you wearing a shirt now? Are you wearing... A shirt now. Oh, oh. Esta, esta pregunta es tricky. ¿Estamos hablando del pasado? No, estamos hablando del presente. Are you wearing a shirt now? So you can answer. Well, how? Yes, I was. Es el pasado. Yes, I am. That's the present. Okay, that's it. It's not hard. Okay, so that's all you have to do today. It's 
not hard. If you have any question, if you have any doubt, just give me an email and I will guide you. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.